Hi, I'm Ron Paul. So I'm working on this model in SketchUp and I am dealing with a real world issue and I wanted to just take a break and show you how I deal with this. Now this is a little workaround that I've come up with over the years of doing lots and lots of modeling. So this model is pretty far along. I'm just ready, just about ready to go to layout to create the plans. But I want to make sure the model is as close to perfect as possible uh, for detailing it in uh, layout so that I can show other people how to build it. What I want to do is show the screw holes and the layout for the screw holes in the top. I forgot to put them in. Now I always do my detailing as much as possible before I extrude it and make it 3D. So I do it when it's just in two dimension or flat. I'll show you what happens after the fact. Now there may be the right way to do this, but this is what I know and I know it doesn't work. So I'm going to come in here get into this component. Uh, so I'm completely sele selected. I'm gonna hit my circle key and I've already got uh, layout lines. I know right where I want it. And I know I want this at 1 16th because I want a 1 8 inch hole. And as I expect, it broke that surface. Now I'm gonna hit the push pull key. I'm gonna grab that, push it down to the bottom and I have my hole. So you can see right through it, if I put on the x-ray you can see the cylinder there all is as it should be the world is a perfect place but I need these holes every six inches and I want to copy them to the other side I want to run them down the side so I want to use the copy feature and so I'm going to go back in select the whole group I've got my black arrow key which I get from hitting the space bar and then I'm going to drag left to right. So only the stuff included in there. So now just that hole is selected. Show you the x-ray, you can kind of see that. Now I'm going to hit my M key for move. All stuff is normal at this point. Grab the center point. If you can't find the center point, it's important you find it. You can touch on the edge and that will show you the center of that. And you can see it even says center. So now I'm going to click on that Tap the option key that gives me the little plus arrow. Oh, tap it again so you see the little plus arrow. I'm going to move it along my line there. And I'm going to hit 6, Enter. And before I do anything else, I'm going to hit X10, Enter. So you can see they copied all along there. And you can see the cylinder all through. And boy, isn't the world just perfect. So now I'm going to come back in here. And before I copy them all over, I'm going to look at them. Well, there's my first hole. Well, what happened? Come on over here, I click. Well, it, surface didn't get broken. There's no hole. Uh, I go on my x-ray, I can see, well, yeah, that's there, but there's no hole. For some reason, when you copy some of this stuff, at least in my experience, it doesn't do exactly what you want. All right, that's the problem. Here's my workaround. First, I'm going to do the old Command Z trick, which is true with about every piece of software under the sun. It backs you up. So I backed up. I have no holes. And I am going to now get into this component. I'm going to, so I'm in the component. Now I'm going to double click, one, two. And that selects just the top surface, the two dimensional surface, not all the rest of the 3D stuff. Tap the M key for move. Tap the option key to get my copy. And I'm going to go up in. I want to go in the blue direction somehow. Sometimes you have a hard time going sideways there. Out blue direction. This is not part of the fix. For some reason, sometimes just change the orientation a little bit. Move. There we go. So I'm on my blue direction. I'm going to hold the shift key to hold it there. And I'm just going to go up. So now I have a copy. It's a one dimensional copy. And now I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to hit my T key for tape measure. I'm going to come in my quarter of an inch. I'm going to come over my six. And I'm going to get into this component. One, two, three. I'm going to hit the C key. That gets me right on my intersection. Come out. Go 1 16th. Enter. Then I'm going to grab that. You can see it broke the surface. See there and there. 
Now I'm going to delete that. So now I've got a hole, just a flat hole. It doesn't go all the way through because there's nothing to go through. Now I'm going to do the same thing I did before. I'm going to get into this. I'm going to use my black arrow key. And I'm going to now grab the M key for move. Tap the Option key or the Alt key, depending on if you're Mac or PC. Find that center point. Go in the direction I want to go. And seeing that I jumped off my center point there. So I'm going to hit Escape. I'm going to tap my Option key again. Find that center point there. Oh, Option. You can tap Option after the fact too. So I'm going in the right direction. And I'm going to hit 6. And that takes me right to my line. And then I'm going to hit X, 10, and I've got all my copies. Now, you can see, go out of here, I have actually have holes. So you can see it looks like there's a surface that there isn't. That's the beneath surface. So I have a hole there. And now what I need to do is copy all of these to the other side, then rotate and do some copies to this side. But I'm not going to do that in the video because that's just repetition. I just wanted to show you this fix. Now what I'll do, say that's all done. I'm going to come in here, hit my P key for push-pull. I'm going to come up 0.75, which is the thickness of my plywood. And you will see that I have holes wherever I need them. Hand tool for move. Now, the one other thing I have to do, you have to finish your detailing. And I could have done this uh, in the 2D or the 3D, um, but I have to make these, you know, fill these back in. So the easy fix for that is to come in to this surface and I am going to um, grab my line tool and I want to come up to the middle. Oh, grab my tape measure tool. Come up to the middle there. 3 8 I'm going to grab my line tool. I've got that selected. I'm going to come across, just orient around, L for line, and then I can just grab that bottom surface, P for push-pull, come back out, and then erase these lines. So there's a number of ways to do this cleanup work, but you can see I'll go through and do that on the other side, and then I'll do the same thing on the um, dado here, and then I'll uh, split this all the way around and pull this out from my router and then I will have this all done and then I will grab this one one two three hit delete and now this one is the replacement for it and I can keep on moving so the the workaround is a lot of times you get a lot of 3D work done and you've got to do a lot of detailing and you miss something and it's better just to grab that two-dimensional surface, move it away, you know, as a copy, do all your detail and re-extrude it, and then move on with everything ready to go. I hope this tip helps. If you like these videos, be sure to subscribe to the channel, give me a like, and share with others. Thanks for taking the time to watch. Have a great day.